buried there and I had a dream. And in this dream, I saw three ladies. They appeared to me. And one of them told me, Sister Kate, since you told us that God wants us to use slim fan to make our hair, I have been praying about it. And the Lord told me that I should not use those things on me anymore. That is a sin to him. I told her outrightly in that dream that it's a lie. What about Pastor Paul Rica, the International Director of Holiness Revival Movement? He told us that we should use the fan. We should also uh, weave our hair with, our, with hands. We should do hand weaving. So this is what he told us. Because I believe all his messages, since God confirmed him to me directly that the man is from God, is preaching his heart and is doing his way. So anything the man say in that movement, I just believe that is final. So this woman asked me in my dream that is is he God? Is he God? I wasn't comfortable with that. Then the second woman now came to me and said, Sister Kate, you are preaching holiness, but you have defied yourself. I said, what? Why? How? As I was looking at her, I didn't even say anything. I said, I was just watching. She now said, that thread on your hair has defiled you. I was using slim fan. Remember that day, I, I plaited thread hair. With, uh, I used slim fan to make my hair. And in that dream, while she was talking with me, I was with slim fan. I was with slim fan thread. So, this third lady now came and started losing the hair for me. She removed all the ceiling fan that I made and left my hair just like that. That And she was crying that Jesus said she should tell me that I should stop plaiting my hair with ceiling fan. That he is not happy with me. That this thread I'm using, that he's not happy. So that was the dream I had that day I woke up. I was like, God, you are not an author of confusion. Your servant, which you told me, that is after your heart. And you took me to that movement by yourself. So how come he is not aware, but he's the one telling us to do the hair? That if this dream is from you, I want to see it again. So I did not believe that dream. I keep on plaiting my hair with ceiling fan. As I was doing it, I had another rebuke again. That I should remove that thing in my hair. That that thing make me dirty. That ceiling fan I put has made me dirty. That is like I'm putting attachment. So I now say, what do I do? I had another dream again, where I was told in that dream, I saw two ladies standing with me, and they said, now what does God want us to do with our hair? And immediately, I saw a hair was packed, loosed, white hair was there, the way your hair is. You should not put uh, dye, you should not put realizer, you should just comb it and pack it just the way it is. And that is how God wants us to do. Then I wasn't convinced. I was still weaving my hair. And I had another revelation again about this hair matter. Where in that dream, I was rebuked seriously. That the Bible is your best revelation. The Bible is your best revelation. Read the book of 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 3. Read the book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 9. That you should believe what the Bible says and not what man tells you. That the Bible is my best revelation. Remember, the revelation may fail. The revelation may stop. Those who are having direct revelation, sometimes they may have someone that is not that, that, that is just like a dream. It doesn't come to pass. You know, revelation may fail. That may not come to pass. Even though God is giving them uh, direct revelation every day, every day, every day, I'm telling you this. It's not all that is true. It's not all. So, he said, I should believe the Bible. I should, I should base my focus and attention only on the Bible. That the revelation of God in the scripture is my best revelation that I should believe. I don't know what you're thinking about it. So I wake up. I say, God, this hair matter is becoming serious. This is how many times I'm dreaming about hair matter now. I was like, oh God, what do I do? But you are not an author of confession. You are the one that called this man. You are the one that is speaking through him. And you have given me confession. So how come he is not aware? And he's not telling us that we should stop this hair matter. So I pick up my phone and I called him. So when I called him, the answer he gave me the first time was, he sent me a text and told me he's Satan. 
That is Satan that is speaking to me. I say, ah, Satan. So when I reply him, Satan, how? He now say, I say, am I the Satan? He now called me back. We spent so much minutes talking on this matter of her. So he now started telling me that uh, we should go ahead and weave our hair. We should use local thread. That one is not shining. That those things they say in the Bible. In fact, I will not remember all what he was saying. Me, let me stop there so that I don't add. I don't say what he didn't say. Let me stop it there. So that fateful morning, I was confused. I said, God. So I continued to do my hair again. Because I believe him 100%. Anything that comes from him, I just believe that ah, it's God that is talking to me. So I don't want to hear anything anybody say anymore. I so much believe that man, whatever he says. I believe that he's hearing everything from God. So he cannot tell us another thing. And and I, I will go and hear another thing. Even the revelation is from anywhere. I will not believe. I believe that anything that this man told us is, is perfect. God is the one speaking. So I continue to make my hair. Until one day again I had another revelation. Where it was like rapture want to take place. And I was like, what is the scene in my life? Oh God. Oh Lord. Oh, it's about to, rapture is about to take place. What will I do? Then the Holy Spirit revealed to me that, look at you. Then in that dream, I was carrying, I whipped my hair, one, one. I did not put wool. I did not put attachment. I did not even put realizer. So in I said, it is your hair. I say, ha, ah, God, I'm sorry, you, but I have not been plaiting my hair for some time now. I managed it, my hair plait. Then I began to lose the hair. As I started losing the hair, the Lord would me that why would I wave my hair? That I should leave my hair the way it is and follow what is the instruction in the Bible. In 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 3, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 9, that not with braided hair, not with plaited hair, we should just leave the hair the way it is. Then after that, I had another revelation. This revelation continue, continue, more than five, more than six, more than seven. I don't know how many times. There are so many. If I want to read it now, it will take a long time. So I'm just picking some, the ones I can remember, and summarize it. Then I had the last, or oh, the second to the last one, where I saw myself in South Africa again, and, and the Holy Spirit was revealing to me, to a lady that... This is how we should make our hair. We should comb and pack it and not weaving it. We shouldn't weave our hair. And I had another dream again where the Lord also warned me that how we should do our hair is to comb and pack it. I saw a lady pastor that is always plaiting wool. She was in the world. She gave her life to Jesus. She liked making her hair with wool. She didn't stop. Now she has not gotten conviction. So when I tell her, she will like, oh, please, 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 I don't want that. Just leave me. If God doesn't like it, he will tell me. So one morning she came to me. I saw that she has already cut her hair and removed the wool. I asked her what happened. She told me the Lord won her in a dream. That she shouldn't plait her hair. She should only comb and leave. She should leave the hair like that. I saw another lady again. She came to me and told me, Sister Kate, that's... As I gave my life to Christ, I was weaving my hair with hand. I was not putting realizer attachment. I was doing it one one. And I saw rapture was about to take place. People were going. The Lord now said he would have carried her. But because of that hair, she plait. That hair has defiled her. That she cannot go. She started crying. I'm begging the Lord for mercy. My sister, that was how she missed the rapture. Because she was with uh, with one, which she was, she whipped her hair. So when she told me this, I confirmed my own revelation as well. So this is what I've got in my conviction, and this is what I saw. I want to share it with you today. I don't know what you think about it. You may not believe it may be a sin, but what after we leave this world and we stand before the judgment seat of God? And the Lord asks us, and we came to discover that actually the Lord doesn't want anyone waving the hair plaiting the hair that we should follow what the bible say like i told you i saw one revelation devil was standing with the bible remember the accuser of the brethren it is the word of god that we will be judged with it when the time come you will be judged why not you do the right thing today and be on the safe side what if you cross over 
When it will be too late, you cannot repent again. What will you do? Remember, it is appointed unto a man to die once. And after this is judgment. Brother, sister, we will all be judged. Think about it before it is late. Don't make your hair. I don't think it's the best thing. Because me, since then, what I do is to comb and pack it when I'm going to the office. I leave it like that. I don't add relaxer to make it soft. I don't put dye to change my white hair to become black. I don't weave. I don't plait with attachments. Other preachers may tell you to weave, to do anything. But what I am looking at is the word of God. The Bible. Look at it. This is King James. The word of God is here. He said we should not plait. We should not weave. We should not braid our hair. We should not do all those things. I have left it. So you can do what you like. But this is my own take on hairdo. I pray the Lord give us understanding in Jesus' name.